Now that we've talked about the loop, we're going to talk about uh, the half cuban eight. Okay, and uh, I have this picture of the loop that I had before, just simply to show uh, that as you do a half cuban, what we're going to be doing is five eighths of a loop, forty five down line, then a half roll, continue forty five, and then pull to level flight. And so, the beginning of the half cuban, we're going to be doing quarter number one of the loop, all of quarter number two. And we're going to get to about the halfway point of quarter number three. Then we will continue our 45 degree down line, do our half roll, and then continue 45, then level. Here's the uh, Arresti symbol for the half Cuban. Again, starting with the dot, five eighths of a loop, 45 down line, half roll, continue the 45 line, and then go to the finish. Okay? So again, five-eighths of a loop, so quarter number one, quarter number two, and half of quarter number three, and then 45 degree down line, half roll. So where we're looking is just like we had described in the loop, that as we're doing quarter number one to the middle of quarter number two, we need to be looking at our sight gauge or looking sideways, sight gauge or the wingtip, until we're right about here. And then we started here, so the horizon in front of us was this way. As we get to this point here, we struggle to crank our head back hard enough to get the horizon in sight behind us so that we can maintain our yaw and our wings level as we come over the top of the looping segment till we get 45 degrees down. Uh, now, as you're, when you're new in training, we'll just have you bring the nose around to what looks like about 45 degrees down, pick a spot on the ground, and use the nose like it's a gun barrel, and then roll around that point, continuing that line. Uh, later on, what you might do to fine-tune that is that as you're coming over, you might look at your sight gauge to try to determine exactly what 45 is, and then look back over the nose, pick your spot on the ground, do your half roll, and then continue. If this was a full Cuban 8, what you would do is after rolling, you would continue this and then do three quarters of a loop again, 45 down, half roll, 45 and then back to level flight. And it would make a figure eight laying on its side. So we're gonna do five eighths of a loop, up over the top, making sure we don't have a low wing. Okay, we're gonna float over the top, so we'll release our back pressure, float over the top. The nose comes down, 45 degrees nose down, and we stop pick, it. Pick a point, stick the point, count 1,001, 1,002, roll, count 1,001. So I usually double the count before the roll, figuring that the average speed ahead of the roll is about about half. It's about half. So Yeah, with your kind of airplane that's so low drag uh, that you can use a two-for-one ratio like that, mm -hmm. doing uh, 1,001, 1,002 on the slow parts and just 1,001 on the fast parts. Mm-hmm. But the uh, airplanes that are higher drag and lower horsepower, it's not a two-for-one ratio. Okay, here we come again, up and around, five-eighths of a loop. Look, find the horizon, level the wings. Yeah. Don't pinch count. the top, so you got to float that top part. Find your 45, look at the sighting guide, check, roll, hold the point, and pull out at about 160 to 180.